Hey, it's David. Let's talk about ABS brakes. Many people believe that you can't bleed ABS brakes at home and you must take them to the dealer. But this just isn't true. It's almost universally completely false. Most ABS systems are intentionally designed to be bled normally using the same techniques you would normally use to bleed your brakes. Most ABS systems are what you might call open systems and what that means is that the brake fluid will pass through the ABS pump unit as part of the normal circuit. There are no restrictions. The pump doesn't stop that flow of fluid through the system. That means when you bleed your brakes, the fluid you pump through or suck through or however you do it when you're bleeding your brakes will flow through the lines down to the ABS unit and back again. So you can get an effective and efficient bleed of the entire system. Some units or some designs have a closed system. Closed systems have a part of the braking circuit, a part of the hose system, uh, it is separate from the open bleeding part. Um, so they still have the same, pretty much the same circuit as an open system, but there's a part which is closed and it might just be the actual pump itself. Um, so fluid doesn't flow through there unless the pump is working. And those are the ones that potentially you need to take to the dealer. Does that mean you can't bleed a closed system at home? No, it doesn't. It doesn't mean that at all. It's a little bit more complicated. It's a little bit more messy to achieve. And you might well decide that the best course of action for you is to take it to the dealer because it's not a huge cost, but it's certainly possible with most systems to do it yourself. So how do you know whether you've got an open system or a closed system? The key factor in knowing which is which is to look at what happens if the ABS pump unit needs to be replaced. You can find this out by two methods. You can talk to the dealer and ask them what happens, what the process is um, for replacing the pump unit. Um, in terms of the brake fluid or you can simply read the service manual go to the manufacturers use the manual that they're using to tell the technicians at your dealer how to service your bike and how in this case to bleed your brakes if you look in the operating manual look in the ABS section and find the section that talks about replacing what the procedure is for replacing the ABS pump if your manual simply says replace the pump and bleed as normal, you've got an open system. If it says you must cycle the pump as part of uh, as part of the replacement process, then you've got a closed circuit. So what's the procedure for bleeding the brakes on a closed system bike? You must bleed the brakes as normal so that you get fresh fluid down from the master cylinder through the, the actual pipework in the open part of the system down to the calipers and out of the calipers. So you've refreshed all of the fluid in there. Next, you must operate the ABS pump. Now, the dealer would do this by plugging a computer in and running it manually. The only real option you've got is to take the bike for a ride and to apply the brakes heavily enough to engage the ABS. If you look in, for example, uh, the service manual for the 650 uh, Suzuki Bandit, it's quite clear that during the ABS testing process, they expect the technicians to get on the bike, take it out on the road, and check if the ABS is working. 
so the manufacturers expect you to do this so don't be as put off as much as you as you might be when you're using the ABS if it's working you're not doing it hard enough that you should skid and fall off so be safe dry roads clear roads no other traffic somewhere safe that if you did fall off nothing bad is going to happen in other words no other vehicles are going to coming along so use your common sense um, I'm not going to recommend you do it because I can't foresee all the things that you might do um, to cause a problem or that might happen to you but it is a way of doing it having actuated the ABS a number of times so that it pumps the fluid through the system and draws in that fresh fluid you've put into the bike you then have to rebleed the system um, and this is where the messy long-winded part comes in because now the main system the open part of the circuit is now a mix of old fluid and new fluid so you've got to drain it all out and replace it with new fluid but that is it just because you've ABS is not something that should put you off from bleeding your brakes of course if you're at all not sure if you're not comfortable if you've never bred, bled brakes before on any bike maybe ABS isn't the place for you to start but if you're a confident mechanic um, used to working on your own bikes used to bleeding the brakes and if you're a competent rider I see no reason at all why most closed circuit uh, brake systems should be beyond you. As I say, if you're at all uncomfortable, fine. Take it to the dealer. It's not a problem. It's not really that expensive. Um, so go for it. Right, I hope that helped. And I hope for some of you, it took a bit of the mystery out of bleeding ABS brake systems and maybe gave you a bit of confidence to have a go yourself. So thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you guys again soon.